Hello from TERMCORP, the terminology coordination of the Directorate General for Translation of the European Parliament in Luxembourg. In this video, we will present the project Terminology Without Borders, a collaboration of the European Parliament with universities on multilingual terminology projects in 10 different fields. The aim of this collaboration is to train students of linguistic departments on terminology work and the networking between universities having terminology among their graduate or postgraduate studies. The multilingual glossaries produced by the participating universities are published on the website yourturn.org dedicated to the collaboration and uh, the terms are added to IATE, the public database managed by all the EU institutions and containing the terminology of uh, the EU legislation. The current coordinators of the project, Carmen Stajano and Maria Bruno, will present in this video the workflow and the content of this international academic collaboration. Hello everyone, my name is Carmen Stajano and I'm one of the coordinators of the Terminology Without Borders project. As you can see on our homepage, we currently have 10 different projects on different domains. So I'm going to give you an overview. The MED focuses on medical and clinical terminology, while in ENVI you will find the glossaries and resources on the preservation of the global environment. CALTA contains resources and glossaries on culture, museums and archaeology. FEM deals mainly with women's rights, URI with legal terminology, and MARE, uh, we collected terms and glossaries on fishing and maritime terminology. MARE is carried out in cooperation with EU agencies and UN organizations, such as the International Maritime Organization and the Food and Agriculture Organization, and several universities. In EDU, we collected resources on education and new technologies in higher education. Food focuses on the food industry and gastronomy fields, tech deals with IT and social media, while FIN deals with economic and financial terminology. So I will show you some of the projects which contain more subdomains. So in this case, I will open the glossaries on MED. So this is the page of the Your Term Med project, which contains six different subprojects, as you can see. So we have the bipolar disorders, complementary and alternative medicine, diseases, eponyms, vaccines, oncology and palliative medicine. I will open one of the glossaries, for example, complementary and alternative medicine. So you will see an example of a term table that you are going to fill in. As you can see, some fields are marked with an asterisk, and this means that the, uh, they are compulsory fields. So we have the source term, the target term in your target language, then the term reference, definition, definition reference, the note, the context, context reference, and any other lookup forms. For example, this glossary is available in Russian, Italian, German, and Finnish. This is an example of a field term table, which was sent by our collaborators. And I will open the page on the MED resources, which contain all the glossaries and the resources on the medical terminology, such as on the COVID-19, the eponyms, the vaccines, etc. And also in our section on MED project and collaborators, we listed all our partner universities and individual collaborators. So here you will see all our uh, partners who collaborate with us. And of course, we listed the project coordinators and also we uh, insert the name of the students who collaborate on the different projects. Once we have completed the term tables and after validation, we will issue some certificates of collaboration which you can share on your resumes, on your social media. Hi, I'm Maria Bruno. 
I will explain to you what the steps of the whole workflow for the creation of the glossaries are. The first step of the workflow is identifying the terms for the glossary. One way to do this is by compiling a corpus or more corpora on the subject chosen. Once you have your collection of texts, you can extract terminology from them. There are various terminology extraction tools that you can use. Some of them are presented in our toolbox page. For example, here we present to you the tools Ankong and Sketch Engine. You can create corpora and automatically, automatically extract terminology from them. Usually, this step is done with English text. In this way, you provide a good list of anchor terms on which other universities can work. It is important at this step to make sure through research that you select terms which are actually used in the specific field that you chose and that these terms are not already in IATE. Once you have your list of candidate terms, you can proceed to the creation of terminological tables. This is the second step of the workflow. In this phase, you need to fill in all the compulsory data fields of the terminological tables in your working languages. At the university, you can choose the number of terms and the working languages that suit your needs. For this step, we have recently started implementing the Fair Term app that we present in our toolbox page. You can find here also a presentation of the app. Of course, we will assist you if you encounter any issues while using the software or in any of the other steps of the workflow. Alternatively, you can choose to work on the Excel table, which contains all the data fields that you will find in fair term. The compulsory fields are marked with an asterisk. For example, as compulsory field, we have, of course, the term, the definition and the part of speech. But we encourage you to fill in as many fields as you can. The first step of the workflow is the validation of equivalence by experts. Once, once the students are done with their research and compilation work, you should send the term tables to experts of the domain who will need to check all the information in the working languages and confirm that it is correct. The last step of the project is the validation of the terms by the terminologies of the European Parliament and insertion of approved terms and definitions in IATE. As soon as you start the project, we will publish your information on the collaborations page of our website in the way that Carmen showed to you before. And once you send us the final tables, we will make them freely available on our website. You can choose to work on the entire workflow or create a new sub and create a new sub project from scratch. Or you can just work on one or two of the steps that I just presented to you. For example, you can choose a glossary that is already on our website and find the equivalent in your working languages, having as the base of your work the anchor terms and definition, which have been already researched by one of our partner universities. And should you have any glossaries or terminological resources or articles concerning terminology, we would be glad to publish them on our resource center. Thank you very much for your attention. We are looking forward to collaborating with you in this fascinating terminology project. And uh, for any questions, uh, feel free to send us uh, a mail to the functional mailbox of the European Parliament uh, dedicated especially to this uh, collaboration. Uh, greetings from Luxembourg and thank you again. Goodbye.